Hello, and welcome to this episode of the Dev Quickie. Our topic is, Sprite Sheet Animation. Let's get right to it. We are going to be using this Globals Helper class. It allows easier access to the content, sprite batch and elapsed game time. The input manager checks which keys are pressed, and sets the direction vector accordingly. There are 8 possible directions. And the game manager class, that will bind everything else together. We will use this simple sprite sheet of a rotating coin. And a more complex one, with a walking hero. Okay, let's start coding. First, we will write an animation class. It needs a texture, this will be the sprite sheet. A list of rectangles, those will be the bounding rectangles of the individual frames. And a couple of variables to set up the animation. The count of frames in the animation. Index of the current frame. How much time it takes to change frames. And a switch to turn the animation off, or back on. The constructor takes in a texture, horizontal count of frames, and the duration of each frame. Then we calculate one frame's dimensions, and set up the source rectangles list. We will add methods to stop, start, and reset the animation. While the animation is active, the update method will process the frame time, and when it's ready, it will move to the next one. The draw method has one parameter, the position where it should draw the current frame of the animation. The source rectangle cuts out the correct frame from the sprite sheet. Now let's make a class that will represent one coin. It will need a texture, a position, and an animation. The constructor will load the texture once, into its static field, and use it to create new animation. The sprite sheet has 6 frames, and we want each frame to play for 100 milliseconds. We will also set the position. The update and draw methods are straightforward. Okay, let's prepare a test in the game manager. We create new coin, call its update and draw, and give it a go. As expected, the coin is spinning, nice. Let's move on to a more complex example. A hero that can walk in 8 directions. We are going to make an animation manager, that will hold a dictionary of animations, and switch between them. The keys of the dictionary are objects, so that anything can be used. The animation manager will remember the last used key. We add a simple method to add new animation. The update method takes in the key to be used. If the key is valid, the correct animation will play. Otherwise the last animation will stop. The draw method simply draws the current animation. In the animation class, we have to adjust the constructor. We add the vertical count of frames in the sprite sheet, and a row selection. Then fix the calculations accordingly. A small fix for the coin to reflect these changes. And finally we get to the hero class. The hero has position, movement speed, and a set of animations. We load the animations in the constructor. One for each direction, which will be the key. The update method will change the position, if any input is pressed. Note the vector normalization, it keeps the diagonal speed the same as orthogonal. And then update the animation, based on the current direction. The draw method is simple. As usual, we test everything by creating an instance in the game manager. Don't forget to add the update and draw calls. Let's see how we did. Everything seems okay, every direction is animating properly. And the animation stops while standing. Perfect! You can find the code in the description, and if there are any topics you would like to see next, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.